What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range this morning as you can see back behind me. It's actually pretty cool and windy out here today. A lot of clouds in the sky, but I really didn't want to wait any longer to get this 223 test done because I got something new that I'm really excited to check out. So as you can see, we got the jelly contraption set up ready for duty with the chrono. Now two blocks of gel are down range at 30 yards down there. You can see them covered up with the towel because like I say, this is a 223 test. So I sent them down range. Now I wanted to get them at the same distance at the 20 five yards that we tested those um the american eagle it was wasn't american either the champions the federal champions but i couldn't get it set up exactly where i wanted with some of the new stuff i got going out here so 30 yards is gonna work but that ain't gonna be a big deal because i'm gonna show you something we got going that's gonna make that no problem at all so like i said we're checking out some 223 here or do y'all want me to talk about the big orange elephant in the room first? Let's go ahead and talk about this one. As you can see, I went and got a little fancy on y'all. I picked up one of these Lab Radar Doppler Chronos for the channel. I've been wanting to get one of these for quite a while. They've been out of stock forever because of some chip shortages. I finally caught them in stock recently and got this thing in. This is going to add a lot more data and stuff to the channel, I believe. And it's going to make my life easier in some ways. Now, this can't totally replace the optical chrono stuff like shot shells and if this starts acting up for whatever reason i may have to go to that for some reason but i've done a few tests with some fmj so far and this thing is going to be really really nice especially for these rifle tests um i won't go real deep into it now but this thing is going to be able to give us the muzzle velocity and five more lengths at the same time for each shot so i can get the muzzle all the way out to 100 and it calculates the energy at every one of those distances but we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second when we start using it like i said we're checking out some 223 here and it's the pmc bronze the 55 grain pointed soft point i picked these up i've probably been about a month now just now getting around to testing them i know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing what these do especially as far as comparing them to those 556 five, federal champions like i mentioned now like i said i did test those at 25 yards but this thing right here will give us a reading at 25 so we'll be able to compare without even sending it out there that close now as far as what we're running these out of today as y'all can see i've got a couple different length ars here we got the angry joe ar 14 it's got the 16 inch barrel on it this is the psa upper i want to say this is a one and eight twist maybe one and seven i'll look and tell y'all before we do the chrono part of it but a 16 inch barrel 556 five, chamber and then for a longer one i've got the let's go brandon 20 inch stainless steel now this is chambered in 223 wild i believe this one's a one and eight twist as well 223 wild chamber on that that one five five six chamber on that one i know some people are going to wonder what kind of difference that makes it may make a hair difference as far as velocity but it's not going to make any difference to make a difference so still going to be a really good test here but enough of all that chit chatting let me get this stuff set up and let's try it out all right let's see if we can get some speeds on these things y'all i'm gonna do a five round average from each barrel length starting with this 16 inch first now one problem i do have with this is you see already or you will see is i don't have me, my camera set up for this small screen so y'all can see each shot as it rolls by i got something figured out for that though they got this little uh flexible mount that i'm gonna get just to have my camera right here so i can put it picture in picture for now i'll call out the velocity though for each round and then i'll show y'all at the end to pick the camera up and show you a, a summary but the good thing about this like i said is from right here i can get muzzle i've got it set for muzzle obviously then i've got it set for 25 yards which is where that champion that i tested was then i've got it set for 30 which is where this gel is down there and then i've got 50 75 and 100 now we may not get readings at 100 because this thing is once you get the smaller projectiles like these 55 grains at 100 it sometimes has trouble reading if it's like a real wooded busy area which is what i've got here so this thing has its drawbacks also it's definitely not perfect but should be pretty good right here so let's see what we get like i said i'm gonna do a five round average and then i'll show y'all the date on it got 28.53 28.63 see we got a hundred yard on that first one but not the second one for whatever reason 2844 2847 
and 2879. So we did get all the readings on it. Let me pick y'all up and show y'all a quick summary of it. All right, I don't know if y'all will be able to see this good enough to use this footage like this. I may just have to put some screenshots after I pull them off the SD card, but the five round average that time from that 16 inch barrel was 2,857 feet per second. Your extreme spread was 34 and your standard deviation was 14.1. All right, let's see what we can get from this 20 inch barrel, y'all. I forgot to mention the box velocity on this claimed 3,200 at the muzzle. So obviously we didn't get that on that 16 inch, it was 2,857. So I'm kind of doubting we're gonna see 3,200 on this 20 inch either. Let me make sure I got about the same level length there. Should be good. Let's see if we can get us five here. 3,019. 3022, 3015, 2967, 2984, and that was five rounds. So it looked pretty consistent there for them first three. Them other, these last two got a little bit off. Let's check that data. All right, so that time our five round average from that 20 inch was 3,001 feet per second. You had an extreme spread of 54 this time and a standard deviation of 24.2. And if you remember on the average on that 16 inch, you had 2857. So you're talking about 144 feet per second faster from that 20 inch. So I didn't figure it quite hit that 3,200. Now keep in mind, these averages are muzzle velocity. So at 30 yards, it's gonna be different. I've got to figure out how i'm going to display that to y'all i may just put it up here on the screen in text or i may put a screenshot but i'll figure all that stuff out for now let me get us reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's is pmc bronze worth its weight in gold jelly time i'm gonna put one round from each barrel length into the gel starting with this 16 inch first now as y'all can see i've got this radar set here beside this so hopefully we can get the actual energy and velocity on the actual jelly round so if if so that'll be a big plus because i know a lot of people have wanted me to do that so let's see hopefully it'll read for us sometimes it gets a little finicky when there's a lot of stuff out in front of it. Let's see what happens. All right, that should have been a good one. Let me go down there and make sure what we got. Actually, you can see there too, our muzzle velocity was 2876. The velocity out there at 30 yards, which is where this gel is, is 2719. So you're about a hundred and something off. So that right there is the kind of info that I wanted this right here for. So we can see what kind of drop you get from the velocity to or from the muzzle to that actual 30 yard target out there. All right, that down there is looking really good. Pretty much just like those federal champions from what I can remember. So let's try this one out the 20 inch barrel. I got a feeling it's going to be very, very similar to what we just saw. All right, that should have actually been absolutely perfect. Let's go down there and see what we got. Actually, before we do check that out, I'm not used to having the velocity for my jelly round here. So on that, the muzzle velocity was 2,903 feet per second and your velocity at 30 yards, which is where the gel is, is 2,725 feet per second. All right, let's check out what we got down here, y'all. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of this with all this lab radar stuff on my mind, uh, but I was using the heavy clothing barrier here as always. Y'all probably saw with the uh, layer of denim, fleece, and two layers of cotton t-shirt. So it looks like what we got down here is some really nice performance from both of these. They both look nearly identical to that federal champion that we tested not long ago, the 556 soft point, and they actually look like twins here. I mean, if you showed me both of these, I would wouldn't be able to tell you which one came from which barrel length. They look almost exactly the same, same disruption, same kind of wound channel pattern, almost the same uh, penetration. It looks like it might be within an inch or, or an eighth of an inch of each other down here. So as far as which is which, the one on the top here, that's out of the 16 inch barrel, again, comes in here. None of this rifle stuff cares anything about this clothing, but I'm gonna keep using it anyway. But as you can tell, it didn't care about no kind of cloth. Came in really, 
really nice disruption, really nice wound channel. Start shedding some lead here and some jacket carries on through here. And you can see the projectile sitting right there mangled all up. It's got that frag expansion we always talk about. And then on the bottom, basically the same exact thing. Like I said, these look like twins here. You would not be able to tell me which came from which barrel if you didn't see it with your own eyes. So again, doesn't care anything about the cloth. Super, super nice wound channel, nice disruption, dumps all that energy right there, keeps on trucking just like the other one and stops. Like I said, there might be an eighth of an inch difference between these. And again, this one's all mangled up with that frag expansion. But as far as the penetration, the one here from the 16 inch barrel is at exactly 13 and a half inches. And the one from the 20 inch barrel, the, uh, again, it's exactly 13 and a half inches. I mean, it might be a 16th of an inch difference between these things. So both of them right there at 13 and a half inches. Not sure how much this close up's gonna help you. This gel I know is getting a little cloudy and yellow. I'm gonna do one more test today and probably take it out of the rotation. But there you can see again, and like I said, they look nearly identical. You can see some lead fragments there. Didn't care anything about the cloth. Like I said, came in, big disruption, carries on through. And again, there's your projectiles. You can barely tell any difference between what the projectiles look like or the penetration. All right, let's check out the projectiles, y'all. Like I said, they look pretty much the same. This one right here, this is out of the 16 inch and this one's out of the 20 inch. So as you can see, tons of expansion, tons of fragmentation there. That stuff just peeled all the way back, lost a bunch of material. Um, if I can remember again, I think it looks just like that Champion did the 5.56. I think pretty much all soft point 223 5.56 is probably gonna look about like this. So really nice expansion and fragmentation from these but let's weigh them up and see how much they actually did lose so they both started at 55 this one here from the 20 inch is down to 38.0 and then the one here out of the 16 inch is down to 39.1 so quite a bit of loss from both of them and it's pretty evident from looking inside the gel and now as far as your size measurements we'll start with this 16 inch they're both going to be really really uneven uh, this one right here looks like it's about 0.462 and then the biggest direction here is 505 and I suspect this one from the 20 inch is going to be really really similar. This way you got 427 and in the longest way you got 516 so really really nice expansion and fragmentation from both of those. And there you have it y'all the PMC bronze 223 soft points. Really nice performance out of these in my opinion. They did just as good as the federal champion. I'll have to look back off the top of my head. I can't remember the velocities, how those compared, but I think as far as I can remember, they're very, very similar there also. Price-wise, they're very comparable also, just depending on what kind of deal you get on whichever one at the time. So in my opinion, from what we saw out here today, I'd say these PMC bronze put in a gold medal performance. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there for what was another good 223 test. Fantastic performance from both of these barrel lengths. Like I already said, you really couldn't even tell the difference. I mean, if you saw those side by side and asked somebody which was the 20 inch barrel, which was the 16 inch barrel, I guarantee you nobody could tell you without just totally guessing. So I think these PMC soft points are another winner. Definitely worth picking up. It really just depends on which one of these soft point 223 or 556 that you can get the best deal on but let me know what y'all think about them i know a couple y'all been looking forward to seeing me test these because y'all actually do have some of these rounds those y'all out there that have used these before maybe in some kind of hunting scenario what kind of performance did you get and what do you think about them overall if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you got them notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when i upload it this video right here i know might be a little rough definitely probably not as smooth as the, my other jelly videos usually are just with this new lab radar i'm trying to figure out the smoothest process to get y'all as much info as i feel like is useful without just overloading you with a bunch of useless info but i'm gonna do another video while i'm out here and i've got a couple of things that i'm gonna change that i think might make it a little smoother take a second if you're doing some shopping and hit up those affiliate links in the video description anything you buy after going through any of those links down there i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that once again i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of 
of y'all for supporting the channel like y'all do. Tons of really good stuff on the way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.